Hi, this is Chad, VP of Products at Slate Digital. Now this is my last video for 2025, and I'm gonna use it to talk to you about Virtue, our assisted mastering system. Now Virtue was launched in the middle of 2023. It's an online mastering system, so you just go to virtue.slatedigital.com, upload a WAV file, and then after making some choices about genre, loudness, compression, you would then download a mastered version of your track, ready to use, to take to the club, to upload to streaming services, or whatever. It was great if you didn't have the time to master your music, don't know how, don't have the right equipment or listening environment, or if you believe that you actually shouldn't be mastering your own music. It's better to have an objective perspective on your music. Um, well, today, Virtue is now available as a desktop app, which makes it even easier to use. There's no more uploading and downloading tracks, and by being a desktop app, there's a number of improvements we've been able to make to make it even faster and easier to use. So, let's check them out. All right, so this is the Virtue desktop app running on my Mac. And uh, yeah, to get started, all I need to do is drag a file into it. And uh, I'm gonna drag this one in, which happens to be an AIF format. So this is one of the very first changes that have happened, where we can now use AIF in addition to WAV. So I'll just drag that in, let it go. And uh, since it doesn't have to upload, it's just boom, ready to go, um, which is really nice. And uh, before I start playing anything back, um, I always recommend to turn on level match. That way you hear uh, the mastered version at the same level as the original. The mastered version uh, is typically gonna be louder than the original. And uh, we can some, sometimes mistake that for sounding better just because it's louder. Uh, but by matching the levels, we'll be able to really focus on just the EQ and dynamics changes that have happened and understand if they are appropriate for the music or not. So yeah, with level match on, I'm gonna flip over to the original. And uh, yeah, let's take a listen to this tr original track. Aha, now here's another change uh, compared to the website version. This song is actually playing from the beginning. Now the website version will jump right to the loudest section of the song, so you can hear kind of how maximum compression is applied to it and understand if the settings are correct. But here you now have full uh, freedom to navigate anywhere in the track that you want. Uh, so you can check every single section before you actually render the master. Nice. All right, now this is a rock track. This is actually the same track I used in the Infinity Horizon video. Uh, because it's rock, I'm gonna go ahead and select rock as the genre here, and then enable mastered, and we can compare how it uh, sounds. Oh, nice. I kind of filled out the bottom end a little bit. It got a little wider. I go back to the original. Yeah, there's a little bit missing in the low end. Yeah, nice. It just added a little bit of mm, to it, which is kind of all I needed. Very nice. Now, I can also load a reference track here. So if I click on plus, uh, I'm going to load Foo Fighters Everlong as the reference. I think that's a similar rock track that I want to go for here. And you'll notice that this is in M4A format. This is the iTunes native AAC format. I was able to just download this from my iTunes library and load it in, and I didn't need to go and convert it to WAV format first like I have to do with the website version. So this is much nicer. I can just load it right in. And now we can compare how Everlong compares to the rock preset and see which one I like better. Pretty similar. I think this adds a bit of top end on the guitars, a little more. Yeah, this setting feels smoother somehow. It's slightly more aggressive. And you'll also notice that by using uh, this as the reference track. Virtue is telling me that this setting is actually probably the best match in terms of loudness. So if I turn this on, um, it's not going to get louder because I have level match on, but it will start applying a bit more compression. So again, this is a really good thing to check with the level match on to understand if the amount of compression that's required to get it up to minus eight lufts um, is appropriate, if it's uh, correct for this mix. So let me run back a bit here and we'll listen to the original. switch to master. 
Oh yeah, the sound changed a lot. So if I go back to standard, yeah, you can hear there's less compression now. Go up to loud. Yeah, that's that totally smashed sound. And in fact, I still have a bit more control over this. If I go down to show advanced controls, um, we've got the same settings as on the website. I can uh, tweak the frequency response. I can change the overall compression and play with the stereo image a bit. Um, and I'm actually going to want to play with the uh, compression uh, to see if maybe I can find something that isn't quite so extreme, uh, even at that loud setting. Punchy is the default. That's pumping a bit. And you also notice here that I'm able to change these settings now and we immediately hear the results. Uh, on the website, you had to wait for the system to reprocess and play, but now you can just compare these settings back to back. Take a bit of high end off or add more. Yeah, this is nice. I think I'm going to go with this here. So Everlong, the recommended loud setting, but with balanced compression instead. Cool. So with that done, all I have to do is click Finalize Master, and it will go ahead and render out and gets added to my list of masters. And uh, I could, for example, just immediately start another one here, maybe use Rock, Loud, and uh, Punchy, and go ahead and master that, and then be able to compare the two later uh, and see which one I like. So from this list, I can actually go ahead and play and still hear the original version and the mastered version. So I could compare this one, which was done with Foo Fighters, to this one using the built-in one. Cool. And then when, once you're done, all you got to do is take one of these things, drag it out, and now you can go ahead and upload it, put it on a USB stick to take to the club, whatever you need to do, and it's ready to go. Very quick, very nice. And this is just the beginning of what we're doing here. Um, this is basically just trying to translate everything that's on the website into a standalone app. So there will be uh, many more improvements coming in the future. So as you can see, the workflow and speed of the Virtue Desktop app is greatly improved over the web experience. But the best part is, is you can use the Desktop app to make as many masters as you want. Because we're not having to upload and download files or do processing on servers, there's no cost in doing this other than your own electric bill. So the Virtue Desktop app can be much more easily integrated into your normal music making workflow because you can create masters anytime you want and hear how your song sounds when it's nice and finished. Now, the Virtue Desktop app comes with the complete access and all access pass subscriptions. Um, so if you're a subscriber, you can just load up Slate Digital Connect right now download the app, and immediately start using it to create as many masters as you want. Um, it is also available for perpetual purchase, so you can buy it, and then you'll have it forever to make as many masters as you want. Um, but we are leaving the web version up for those who aren't subscribed. Um, you can still just go ahead and uh, pay for an occasional master or two when you need it. We're not taking that away, and the sound quality is the same between both versions. So that's it. Thanks for watching this video. Have a good rest of your year, and I'll see you again in 2026.